GR Jeff is called, at least by me. And here we go, the countdown has begun to game number two. So, ladies and gentlemen, mesdames, messieurs, meine Damen und Herren, señores y señoras, here we are back again. It is game number two for the basically time filler show match of Morrow against Nurcio. And we are this time on Taldari Malta. Morrow, even though he lost the map, said, uh, I can choose on whatever map they are going to play and I was in the mood for some Taldarim action. If there's going to be a third map it will be just standard Metalopolis. So Mauro here spawning in the bottom right as a red Terran. In the top right we have Nurture as the blue Zerg. So in the last game on Belgium Mitch, which um, some people consider um, Zerg friendly. Um, fun fact, um, when I was Talking to Nurtio a um, couple of two or three weeks ago when he first played on this map, I was casting this. Um, he, he took a look at this map with me together, and he, we just had two computers play against each other. We were joining it, we were joining in as observers, and so he was analyzing this map. And the first thing he said, okay, clearly Protoss and Terran favored because Zer cannot get a good second expansion, so uh, Nurture deciding just to get five expansions instead, so um, he's going hatchery first uh, once again. We have Morrow here as uh, the um, Terran, and in the last game we went command center first, this time he's going command center first once again. There is Nurture having some good luck finding his opponent right away, sending the overlord to the left side, sending uh, the drone to the bottom side. And this drone actually did do quite some damage to the SCV, it only needs to get one hit off of the SCV, so this SCV is going to get repaired right away, and now Moro can continue with the mining here. Of course he needs to send in another SCV to protect this SCV, who is building the command center right now. There we go, he's even sending two, just in case. One is repairing the SCV, the other one is repelling the drone, so for the moment Morrow should be safe, and I really like this command center first play because this is not what we usually see. Most of the times it's just one barracks reactor, the Hellions, or it is uh, one, two barracks opening against Zerg, but not so much command center first. Uh, there he's just continuing with a wall off, of course, as we were seeing yesterday. When, to, when you want a wall off on Taldarim versus Zerg, you actually need three barracks and the supply depot to go for a complete wall off. When I was watching the Intel Friday night games where Cloud was playing against X Lord, uh, I was watching this live and Cloud basically lost the game after four minutes because he was not realizing, oh yeah, I need to build a supply depot here uh, because a three barracks is just not enough. So now the SCV is moving in, he was spotting him right away, like Nurture was spotting him right away, He's seeing, okay, there's the pool, there's the Zerklings here, it's the hatchery, so now Morrow knows he was going hatchery first, so building his first Marines, double refinery coming up right now, so most likely he's going to go for the same build once again. Now this time, um, like in the last game he was checking for the second expansion very very soon. This time he's not just yet doing this because it's not actually too easy to get up another expansion here because of the rocks and when you want to take out the rocks you need some units and um, you, by some units I mean quite a lot of zirklings because they actually deal 40% uh, less damage to the rocks because the rocks having quite a lot of armor and they actually do 60% less damage to the rock. So first three marines moving up here, Queen is there, Zirklings are there, so now it's up tomorrow to just go for some micro, but it looks like Nurture pulling back for the moment, so those four marines should be safe. One marine most likely is going to be sent over here to the top Zelnaga watchtower, the other threes um, not waiting at this one, pulling back to his main base where he's about to finish with his 
third barracks right now, we see the factory coming up, we see the um, tech lab coming up as well, of course this is an exposed tech lab, if he's going to go for his stim or combat shield research, yeah, Maru might be in a little bit of trouble, and he's going once again combat shield over the stim, and he's building a second supply depot to absolutely make sure that this is not the weak spot here in this location. Now, Nurture with the scouting circling, who just got taken out. Nurture, he knows about this one, okay, and he knows, ah, it's actually not that easy for me to get a base here up, so where is he getting this base up? He's getting his base up here at the 12 o'clock, and Moro does know about this. Smart scouting marine, realizing, oh yeah, he likes to get expansion ups pretty soon, pretty fast, so I better scout for it, and he does did scout for it, so at the moment he's just getting more marines, there we see the reactor on the factory, so we will see some medivacs to support those marines out here pretty soon. I would really like for Moro to get one additional viking just to fly around the map and look for overlords. Now Nurture, what is he doing? He's just doing a good job with his uh, three active creep tumors, spreading the love a little bit more. And um, plus one started for nurture as well as uh, the layer which is already finished in the next 10-15 seconds here. So now nurture is taking out his rocks finally and take a look at this. Even 14 zirklings take quite a long time to take out all those rocks. And the triple creep tumor highway is continuing. Uh, not only is the creep tumor uh, a little bit bigger, the creep tumor highway, but also one important thing is that those creep tumors actually continue, uh, accelerate the growth, uh, the, the creep spread. It's just spreading much, much faster when you have multiple active creep tumors in one small area. There, Maru is moving out uh, with those whole perfect roaches spotting those marines and Maru's double medivacs realizing uh, there might be in a little bit of trouble. So now, of course, he needs to focus where he's dropping his marines. The roaches are already waiting in position here. Where are the zirklings? They are here. But two roaches are still not enough against 16 zirklings. Uh, against 16 marines, actually. Now here are the marines getting dropped. Uh, they're getting healed. They got the combat shield. But he's not dropping all of the marines right now. Now there, finally, he is dropping all of the marines. Doing some more damage. Was even taking out the queens. Now he tries to take out some more of those drones and he actually focused down those drones she tries to keep the drone numbers low and he still has seven uh, of those marines alive but dropping all those marines where nurture with his overlord had vision on the high ground was not actually the smartest thing to do because those roaches were able to take out the marines one by one by one, it looks like Nurture is about to go for a small counter attack. Will he be able to catch those siege tanks off guard? No, he will not. I mean, actually, he will be, but it's just a little bit too many marines. Now, the medivac providing the vision, taking out the overloads, not supply blocking Nurture right now. Mauro is currently attacking the rocks here. The rocks dive a little bit faster than they did to the Zirklings, and here are the Zirklings coming in once again, Nurture immediately paying attention to this, he got the two siege tanks in the back, bringing in some more of those SCVs, maybe rearranging uh, one siege tank after another would be a good thing to have, but no, for the moment he says, okay, I will stay on my bases, and um, I will just... Bunker up a little bit. So the rock still got it 1200 HP left. And Nurture did a good job by just showing his forces, not really engaging in the battle, but basically forcing Moro to stay at home. Uh, even though Nurture will be on four bases as soon as this hatchery pops out, and which will be another 15 seconds. The supply difference is actually not that big. It is 17 supply right now, which is okay, which is good, but. Um, it's not that big. So Moro dropping some mules, having good timing on his mules, always dropping them at a pair. Now started with a plus two, plus two attack here for the ground units. Now the siege tanks are out here. Meanwhile the marines are somewhere else because Moro 
is about to go for a double drop here in the back once at the once again at the same time he's having a, a medivac moving in here all the zerglings are in position not doing too much damage because those marines got picked up right away so he still got those two drops up and coming and here is nurture with his nine mutas moving in morris got some marines so he should move his marines over there pretty soon stimming them right away there we go the mutas getting repelled for the moment where are the marines here they getting dropped once again and he's all over the place with this drop play and this is actually uh, if you can drop at multiple locations at once, this is actually how you need to deal with the Zerglings. Uh, Moro stimming once again, now lifting up his remaining units, and in the last second he was able to kill this hatchery. Now with no roaches on the low ground, he's even able to take out the Queen. Now at the same time, those Marines are still waiting here. He's got this command center up and running, going for triple missile turrets just to be safe. More mules getting called down, planetary coming up for Moro. So all those units got taken out at the 12 o'clock by the uh, Mutus of Nurture, who's going this time for a relatively fast Greater Spire, not focusing on the Infestor so much. We see the Greater Spire about to finish in the next second, and there we go, the Devil's Head building, like I would like to call it, because it looks like a Devil's Head to me. And here are the Mutas in the back, taking out this uh, Medivac, so Morrow knows, okay, there might be coming something up. And here are the Marines, and the Marines take out one Med Mutalist. And that's it, the others take a heavy damage, but nice job by Morrow with this missile turret, a little bit playing it's better safe than sorry goody style he does not want to be uh, falling victim to any forces now taking out the zirkling nurture knows okay there are these units more zirklings moving in is he going to lift up his forces and no he's not just trying to take out as many forces as he can because at the same time we have an engagement here in the middle tanks getting catched off guard but still all of those are alive we see two bootlots being morphed in one bootlock gets taken out so does the second one we have Thor here in the back, the tanks are sieged up, the Corruptors most likely will be able to take out uh, one or two of those medivacs, the other one still alive, do we see a scan coming up by Moro? Yes we do, so now all those creep tumors going down at the same time, he um, nurtures expanding once and twice, once again got the hatchery here at the 12 o'clock up, circling run by happening by nurture here at the second expansion of a Moro right now, planetary doing some good damage, those circlings only managed to take out one barracks which was in production at the same time. Amaro um, is moving in here, continuing to move in. The siege tanks all got taken out by the Zirklings, but both Thors getting lifted up saying, Oh, I don't want to stay here anymore, and uh, getting pulled back. And he needs to move back with the Thors because the Mutus, uh, the Corruptors, should be here any second now. At the same time, moro has got a drop prepared here to attack at the top left location. Zirklings taking out those Marines. Morrow lifting those up just in time. He needs to be very careful and patient about the Corruptors as well. At the same time, moving in here at the center at the natural expansion. All four Infestors go down. They get off some good fungals but and even a lot of those marines are in the red take a look at this and the medivacs currently do not have enough capabilities of doing some healing he's pulling back for the moment of course those two corruptors will go down uh, at the same time nurtures just um, getting more drones transferred over here and every time i see nurture play especially in the last one and a half month he's just getting better and better so now nurture he's got zirklings all over the place getting some more brute lords getting some more corruptors we see more infestors getting produced as well as the plus three melee attacks down the plus two carapace is about to finish zirklings still running around once again spotting those medivacs the medivacs were spotting the zirklings as well and um We'll get some good vision with his marines, maybe picking up those, those mar the marines with the medivacs would have been nice, but still, um, so much more stuff coming in. Nurture here with this overlord at this location with the zirklings here and here. He knows if Moro tries to go for any sneaky expansions. And by the way, Moro is currently at 193 compared to the 199 supply for Nurture. Here are the Corruptors taking out the uh, medivacs right away, so the zirklings will take care of the zirklings. Now let's take a look at the units lost for the moment. Nurture playing a little less cost effective, being behind 1700 resources, but he's got so many more bases up. He's got so many 
many more drones up. He's currently on 93 drones. So this means the army supply for Morrow is 118 versus 95. Or way bigger for Morrow. So he's got a 5 of those Vikings, he, there he's doing a scan, spotting all those units, and is he going to siege up just in time? He's got four ghosts at the center as well. Now the tanks are sieged up here, the brute lords. So now it's up to the ghosts and the marines and the Vikings to take out those brute lords as fast as possible. But perfect triangles, EMP getting casted on the infestors. Still two infestors are alive, and this complete army of Moro gets taken out in just a second at the same time. Moro trying to go for some desperation counter to attack here with his marines not setting there he's setting in at the correct position marines moving in taking out all these drones meanwhile the forces of uh, nurture pulling back of course the infestors of creep are quite slow marines doing quite some damage here taking out nearly all of these drones doing a good job at cutting into the income of nurture but nurture still got 1700 minerals 1300 gas left so now those marines do some work before they go down but in the end, it might not be enough for him, and that's why, indeed, he calls GG. He was not able to just to get out of his three bases. Nurture was doing a good job as, ex as uh, uh, with expanding, and yeah, we saw two very entertaining games. And once again, I have to say, I'm quite surprised. Even though he lost, his TVZ is a pretty entertaining one. And he's not out of shape uh, playing as Terran. But now, ladies and gentlemen, in about five minutes, we will continue with the main event. It will be the finals. Beastie against Moro. Moro playing Zerk. Beastie playing Terran as a best of seven for the $500 tournament for Special Andres Tournament Series.